Hello and welcome back to today's video. So we're going to be having a really quick look at the integral of cos of 2x over cos of x, integrating that with respect to x. So the first thing that we're going to want to do here is we're going to refer back to our double angle trigonometric identities. So we have cos of 2x, what's another way that we can rewrite that? So I can say that cos of 2x is going to be equal to 2 cos squared of x minus 1. Okay, so using this information, let's rewrite the problem now. So now we'll have the integral of, well, 2 cos squared x minus 1 all over cos of x. And dx on the end there as well. Okay, so let's try and simplify this a little bit. So we can see that that's going to be the integral of, well, 2 cos x. And then we'll have simply minus 1 over cos x. And 1 over cos x, well, we know that we can rewrite that simply as sec x. Okay, so now we notice that we can actually just rewrite this as two separate integrals. So we see our first integral is simply going to be 2 times the integral of cos of x and then dx. And then minus, well, the integral of sec x. Well, I have covered the integral of sec x in another video. Uh, and I've done a more thorough video regarding the integral of cosec of x, so I'll leave that down in the description if you'd like to go and check that out. Otherwise, I'm just going to be using the answers that we had gotten from that to rewrite this final answer now. So when we integrate cos of x, well, we know that that will simply become sine of x. And then, as I said, from our other videos, we know that we can integrate sec of x and rewrite that now as the hyperbolic tangent inverse of sine of x. Okay, and plus c, our constant term of integration there. And that's it, that's our final answer for today. Now there is a couple other ways that we could rewrite out uh, this answer here coming from integrating sec of x. There's going to be writing it out in logarithm term or writing it out in other hyperbolic trigonometric functions. Uh, and any of those methods are going to be 100% okay. Just make sure that you're keeping an eye on the domain and appropriate use of notation here. Okay, well, if you have enjoyed today's video, I do hope you leave a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then please consider subscribing. And if you have any other methods that you would have tackled this problem with, or if you'd like to see any other specific problems, then please leave a comment down below. As always, I hope you have a great day and stay curious.